Hi guys. Um, I think I'm improving here. I'm finding a, a better lighting, and you can also see the whole book, and you can read with, along with me if you um, if you prefer to do so. Okay, so uh, again, let's start together. Okay, so uh, we are at uh, page 258, and we are still a trail guide to the body. Okay, um, please look at the image here. Um, we are looking at a lateral view, um, where the ox uh, the occip of uh, occipital uh, frontalis um together with frontalis and the occipitals it's hard for me to pronounce together um is highlighted okay and you can also see the galea aponeurotica okay um uh, that serves really a, a protection um a protective um shield because uh, uh where the brain is located right aside from the skull we also have that extra protection okay so um looking at uh these detail here so the Occipitu, I have to uh, say it's really slow. Uh, occipitu frontalis is the muscle primarily responsible for raising the forehead into an expression of surprise. It is a unique muscle with four thin bellies, two uh, frontalis bellies on the forehead, and two occipitalis bellies located on the back of the head. So the four bellies are joined by the galli gallia aponeurotica. So a broad sheet of connective tissue is stretching across the top of the cranium. Although the occipital frontalis is superficial, its thin fibers cannot be isolated. Okay, so if you can look at the image here where uh, a partner uh, being in supine, uh, the therapist is isolating the uh, frontalis uh, fibers, okay? Um, action for frontalis it, uh, is to raise the, uh, the eyebrows and wrinkle uh, the forehead. And uh, action for the occipitalis is to anchor and retract the galli posteriorly. So um, as you can see, it's um, it's a sort of um, interrelated. So um, origin uh, both is uh, from the uh, galli aponeurotica. Insertion uh, for frontalis is the skin, uh, skin superior to eyebrows. And for the occipitalis is the superior ducal line of the occiput, okay? And nerve innervation is facial nerve number seven. Okay, so looking at image here, we have the partner in supine, uh, whereas the therapist is isolating the occipitalis fibers, okay? That really feels good to be a, a do some manual therapy. Like right, so you can see, so, you know, doing palpation, any massage or um, a release, I uh, will help. Um, that I do like um to uh do um a release in that mus uh, muscles. Okay, so here we have the frontalis fibers, right? Um, like in the image here, we have the partner in supine, and uh, locate the superior nuchal line of the occiput. And slide your fingers one inch superiorly to isolate the region of the oval occipitalis uh, bellies. My, my apologies. So when do you use your um, OF? Oh, I should have used that word earlier. I should have abbreviated, abbreviated it. So when you're raising your eyebrows in shock or surprise, which is the frontalis, right? And when you're smiling and yawning, according to a study of 30 volunteers who allowed electrodes to measure their muscle activity. Okay, see you guys on page 259.